My name is Naomi and this week I have a clothing haul video for you guys. So I am 4 foot 11 which is 150 centimeters approximately. So it's kind of always been a struggle for me to shop for clothes and find things that fit me properly. But these brands that I'm talking about today are definitely very petite girl friendly. All of the items in this video are an extra small or a small, just whatever smallest size that they have to offer on the website. Also this top that I'm wearing is actually part of the haul. It's from Petal and Pup which I'll get to later on in the video. So today's video is going to be mainly a springtime clothing haul. I have a lot of really pretty pastels and springtimey colors. I do have a couple of sweater materials which I think would be good as like transition pieces from the colder weather to um, the warmer weather. Before we get started, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of fashion content on there. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So the first brand I want to talk about is Princess Polly and basically everything that I get from them fits so perfectly. I'm in love with this brand. It's just, it's so easy to shop on there. So the first item from Princess Polly is this top right here. And you may be wondering, why does it look like there's gunshot wounds through this top? Well, first of all, this is or was my favorite top ever that I had like ever purchased in a long, long time. Basically what happened was I hand washed this top, trying to take really good care of it, tossed it in the dryer and the dryer didn't dry it perfectly. It was still just a little bit damp and I wanted to wear it that day. And I had the bright idea of trying to dry it with a blow dryer and I really didn't think this would happen. The blow dryer literally burnt a hole through it immediately. I didn't even touch the hair dryer to this thing. I immediately went online to see if it was in stock still, but unfortunately it was out of stock. But fortunately, Princess Polly restocks their items semi-frequently, like every couple of months. So I'm gonna keep my eye on it. But anyway, luckily I didn't burn a hole in the rest of these items. The next thing that I got from Princess Polly is this super cute silky leopard print mini skirt with a slit down the side. And it has like a zipper on the back as well. Really soft material. And these silky mini skirts are so in right now. I feel like I'm seeing them all over Instagram. And the next thing I got from Princess Polly is this little strappy one shoulder tank top. And this goes really well with that skirt that I just showed you guys. The thing that I don't like about this top is the material is really not stretchy. So it's kind of difficult to get it on. But once it's on, it fits really well. And I also got another skirt from Princess Polly. This one is like a white denim with a slit on the side. I've been seeing skirts just like this all over Instagram and I've been really wanting to get one. Especially the waist fitting me is again, something that I struggle with often. So I was happy to see that the waist didn't need any sort of tailoring. And this one also has a zipper on the back. And this next item is yet another bodysuit. And this one is like a mesh net bodysuit with um, these like really pretty cup details. I am obsessed with this top. This top fits well, but the one issue is the cups are really, really small. I basically kind of spill over in these. So based on the cup size alone, I probably should have sized up, but everything else fits really perfectly. Um, it's just the cups are really small. So that is kind of unfortunate since this top is so cute and I really fall in love with the style. But again, maybe I'll figure out how to make this work. This next item is a top that I've been wearing nonstop for the past couple of days. It's just one of those basic pieces that kind of go with everything. Like it's comfortable, it looks good. So basically wherever I'm going, grocery shopping, whatever it is, I just throw this on and it's just one of those reliable tops. The one thing I don't like about this top, and this is kind of an issue with a lot of white sweaters that I've found, is that it's, it's kind of see-through. You kind of have to be careful which bra that you wear. This next item is one that I got kind of a while ago, but they still have it on their website. It's like this really cute, completely backless top. This is more of like something that I'd wear to the club. The material is really thin, so it's like super comfortable to wear. But yeah, this is like a really cute, unique top that I haven't really seen anywhere else. I really love this one. I got a lot of compliments when I wore it last time. 
And this last top from Princess Polly is also one that I got a while ago. I'm gonna have to iron this before I try it on for you guys, but again, really cute for springtime. It has this really pretty rose pattern on it, which I love. And I usually layer this on top of a lacy um, lingerie top. This one is kind of an older one that I've had for a while, but I saw that they still have it on their website, so I decided to include it in this video. I've worn this top a lot. It was like my go-to top for a while. So that's everything that I have for Princess Polly, and the next brand that I'm talking about is Verge Girl. And the first item is this mint green um, tank top. I've been seeing this tank top literally all over Instagram and I finally caved and purchased it. And this is the first time I've ever purchased from Verge Girl. The quality is definitely very good, so I'm really happy with that. The one thing that I wasn't a huge fan of was the non-adjustable straps. The straps were really long. Um, everything else fit really well. I actually cut them down and sewed them shorter myself. So that's kind of annoying, if especially if you don't have a sewing machine. But once I fixed the really long straps, I love this tank top. Like, I've been wearing it a lot lately. I usually wear this with a pair of high-waisted jeans. I mean, I only wear high-waisted jeans ever, so I don't know why I'm specifying that. And I got that same tank top in this really light peachy pink color. And again, I had to adjust the straps myself and sew those tighter. But yeah, after I did that, again, love this tank top. The next item I got from Verge Girl is this cropped, oversized, like, cardigan sweater. It has, like, buttons down the front. I like wearing this, like, buttoning only, like, one or two buttons and wearing it, like, off shoulder. It has, like, a slit on each side, so it makes it really easy to tuck the back into some jeans and leave the front out. And finally, the last thing I got from Verge Girl are these wide leg trousers in white. And I really, really love this one. The waist fits super, super well. But the one problem that these pants do have is that they're way too long. So I'm definitely gonna have to tailor the bottom to be shorter. So the next brand that I have is Nasty Gal. And the first item from Nasty Gal is this black cropped cardigan with buttons down the front. Also super cute. I really like wearing this off the shoulder or off one shoulder as well. And again, pairing this with a pair of high-waisted jeans. Even though it's like sweater material, the cut of it still exposes a lot of skin, so it's not too warm um, for the springtime. And this next item from Nasty Gal is this pink silky bodysuit. I think this style is called a cowl neck, I believe. It's super cute, I've been seeing it all over Instagram, and again, I finally caved. This is like a bodysuit, so it has the little snap closure at the crotch area. The next item from Nasty Gal is another bodysuit. It's like this really pretty lace bodysuit, and the back is like this open diamond. Super cute, completely see-through though, so I'm gonna have to figure out um, what to wear underneath this. Probably just pasties. But this just really stood out to me since it was pretty unique and I had never seen something like it before. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to actually make this top work. And again, I got another mesh bodysuit from Nasty Gal. This one is really, really cute. Like, I've been seeing this type of um, top kind of everywhere online, like on Pinterest and on Instagram. Like, a mesh bodysuit, um, long sleeve kind of top with like pearls all over it. I love tops that I don't have to worry about constantly tucking into my jeans because this is a bodysuit as well, so it just stays tucked in. And finally, the last thing that I got from Nasty Gal is this top right here. This one is another top that you tie at the front, but this one is like a ribbed sweater material. I like it. The only thing that I don't like is that the ribbed material isn't the best quality, which is kind of annoying. So I don't think that this top is going to last a super long time but I'm also not expecting this style to be something that I'm gonna be wearing on a daily basis, so I guess it doesn't really need to withstand a lot of wear and tear. So moving on to the next brand, which is Shopo, and I've been shopping on Shopo for a really long time. They only recently got a petite line, because I remember back in the day I would order things in a size small or an extra small, and it would arrive and just be like way too big on me. 
but now that they have their petite line, their things actually fit me. So the first thing I got from Shopo is this cowl neck top. It's like this silky cream colored material. This one isn't a bodysuit, so it is a little bit annoying trying to keep it tucked into your jeans, especially since it's like a really silky material, it tends to kind of just slip out. I'm super into the silky cowl neck style right now. The next item from Shopo is this really cute beige and black polka dot blouse. It's like a v-neck peplum type top. It has a zipper down the side so it's really easy to get into. The last item I got from Shopo is this silky wrap skirt in a leopard print. I don't think this is from the petite section but it still works. So the last brand that I'm talking about today is called Petal and Pup really cute stuff. They kept advertising to me on Instagram. At first I thought they were just some like fake knockoff website, but after I did a little bit of research into them, turns out that they're really legit. And they just have the cutest selection of tops and blouses and a really wide selection of images that you can look through. So that made the shopping process a lot easier. I really hate it when websites have like one or two pictures of an item. I'm like, I need to see it at all angles. And this top that I'm wearing right now is actually from there. So this entire band right here has like elastic through it. So it's like really comfortable and like just holds you in really well. And um, I just, I love puff sleeves. I'm super into them right now. It also has this ribbon detail to tie the shoulders together so they're not falling off. But yeah, I love this top. I love the floral pattern. So this next item from Petal and Pop is this super cute knitted crop top. It's such a pretty like sandy nude color. I actually bought this top expecting to wear it on vacation. I really love um, this color palette if I'm going anywhere tropical, but you know, everything was canceled because of Miss Rona. The next item from Petal and Pop are these really cute linen trousers. It actually goes really well with that top I just showed you guys. This linen material is really great for warm weather. It's so breathable and comfy. The one thing I don't like about these pants is the elastic in the waistband is way too small, so it's really tight, but I'm gonna see if I can stretch them out before I wear them. But besides that, everything else fits really well. The height is good. And the very last thing in this haul is this top from Petal and Pop. It has like this stretchy ribbed material for the body and this polka dot mesh for the sleeves. I've been wanting a top like this for so long, so I'm really glad I found one that is this cute. But anyway guys, that concludes today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot more fun filming this than my makeup tutorial videos. This was a lot easier to film and a lot more fun just like going through my clothes. If you guys wanna see more clothing haul videos or if you have any other video ideas, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching this one and I'll see you guys next time.